Yeah, hi guys. Uh, my name is Stefan. I've been involved in this business now for about 11 months. We're going to speak about one coin, which is an extremely interesting opportunity. Uh, to be really honest, when I ran into one coin the first time, the company actually was launched uh, late 2014. And I actually heard about it from the beginning, as I know some of the people that was involved from the network side. I didn't take it to be really honestly seriously. So uh, actually, I didn't even take my time to take a real look at it. And this is important that I'm telling you right now, because some of you might have heard something about OneCoin, but decided that this is not for me. And most people that actually takes time to take a look at the concept and really the facts and stuff that we're talking about here will join it. So this is why I really sincerely now want you guys to put away everything you have, put away your phone and actually take the time for the next minutes to listen to all the facts about OneCoin. Because this was something for me when I opened my eyes, uh, this was then in uh, late January 2015 and started really, really to look into it. I got more and more interested and what finally got me to really get going in this business is the owner and founder of this business, Dr. Rusha Ignatova. I will speak to you about the business of one coin and most of all, why this is really the one coin revolution. Why do I call it the one coin revolution? It is pretty simple. We actually achieved in the year of 2015, which was the first business year that OneCoin was rolling out and really operating with the concept. Yes, it started in late 2014, but 2015 was the first year that we actually mined the coin. I will try to speak to you about and tell you about what are the key elements that actually made, as you can see here, 1.4 million members in the first operational business year also turned over more than 1.5 billion euros. And this is something that I want to really think about because this doesn't only make one coin extraordinary in the networking business. It actually makes one coin extraordinary in any kind of business. If you take uh, uh, some time to think about and reflect over, for example, Facebook or Google and this, it took them years to get to a turnover like this. So why then did we do this and reach also 245 countries and created 300 millionaires in the first business year? It's pretty amazing if you ask me, because 300 millionaires, I mean, what kind of business do that in the first operational year? I'm not talking about now some, you know, fairy tales or something. No, 300 and more people in the company's first real business year made more than 1 million euros. So it's real millionaires that we actually created in this company. So when a company does something like this, it is very important, if you ask me, to learn the facts. Because for me, in the beginning, when I heard about it, like I told you before, I thought that it was maybe a scam, a hype, whatever it was. But when I took the time to really look at it, I understood that it's all about the facts. And this is why I'm so excited. It's not because people are making some temporary money or something like that. No, facts. And you will understand that for after a few minutes when we speak a little bit more about it. It's not only me that believe in digital currencies and cryptocurrencies or new payment methods or things like this. No, it is people like Bill Gates. I guess all of you heard about him. It is also people like Bernanke, Ben Bernanke. People that are highly respected in the financial sector. That's all of them says that digital money, cryptocurrencies are the future. So it's not about if it will be, it is more about who will be in the race. The first cryptocurrency that came out on the market was Bitcoin, that actually many, many years back, already in 2009, was rolled out on the market, but really took some speed in 2013. I will show you more about that one later on. This one had already created that big, big, big multi-billion dollar corporations around the globe are accepting cryptocurrency and foremost then Bitcoin for now as a payment method. So it's not any Donald Duck money, this one. It's real, real money. This is a Bitcoin that, I, as I said, was already launched out on the market in 2009, but started to take some speed in 2013. I don't have the time right now to speak about why it happened like this, but mostly it's about technology and internet and all of this that really started rocking the Bitcoin, as you can see, all the way from basically 10 
dollar cents up to $1,200 and above very fast. And of course, when this one happened, then I also learned about Bitcoin. I heard about it, I think in 2010 or something like this. I didn't believe in it. I didn't believe it at all. And the same reason was that I didn't believe actually in OneCoin. I didn't even know when I saw OneCoin the first time what really happened to Bitcoin. I learned it later. There was some people that was a little bit more smart than me or took the risk to get involved because sometimes it is about risk also, risk management, calculated risks what you do. Jared Kenna is very famous for doing the right thing in Bitcoin, went in early, came out with one of these trades that you can see here as an example and bought actually at 20 dollar cents and sold off at more than 250 dollars. So this, of course, created a lot of profit for him, and he's not alone. I'm on the other side, the one that actually missed out, like I said. I didn't believe in it. I didn't take the time to investigate it, so I lost out. This is not the only example. I think you are the same. You probably lost out, or then you were smart like the first one and got in. For me, is what was the second option. So I missed the boom. Maybe you missed the boom. The only question now is, are you interested in riding the next cryptocurrency boom? Because this is for sure one coin. The question that you may ask yourself is, and the question that I asked myself already in 2010, when I saw the first cryptocurrency Bitcoin on the market, heard about it a little bit, is, do we really need cryptocurrencies? Is it something that people actually want? Because for me, it was like digital money, what is that? These governments that do stuff with money and so on. That was for me, you know. I didn't really understand how you can create value from something in the internet. I didn't understand it. So the question now is, and what I will try to explain to you and do my best to get you to really grasp, is who will, in case that we need one, win? And why will they do that? Because this is very important to understand if you ask me. There are actually three really, really big reasons for this, whereof the first one is the un unbanked around the world. And this was something totally new to me. Because for me it was like obvious, everybody has a bank account. I thought that everybody has a bank account. Not really maybe everybody, but most of the people I actually thought. But this is actually not how it is. If you look at the statistics here shown, that says that in the year of uh, 2014, I think it was if I remember correctly, actually more than 40% of the world's adult people are actually missing still a bank account. And this was for me uh, basically like a cold shower. Because I thought actually that people are sitting on a bank account. Because I come from this part of the world where you see less than 8% is actually without it. But if you're looking on the other side, we have also uh, areas in the world where we have 80% of the adult population that is missing a bank account. So when you start looking at this map, it's all over the place where people don't have a bank account. There are many reasons also why they don't sit on a bank account, but mostly it's technology, they don't have the money to do it or whatever. And this is something really serious because it's actually considered to be the world's number one problem. Why? Yes, because if you don't have a bank account, how are you going to create wealth? Where are you going to put your money? Under the bank uh, bed address? No, people need somewhere to gather their wealth. And this is keeping back the third world. Actually from, you know, uh, enjoying the race and developing and actually becoming rich and wealthy. So this is something that actually cryptocurrency can solve. Because it's cheap, it's fast, it's easy. Basically everybody with a mobile phone can be involved in cryptocurrency. So this is something that we know today, not from me, from researchers, that it's a market that is worth trillions. Only about the banking, it's worth trillions. And if you take your time to listen to Dr. Ruja, this is something he speaks about all the time. Not the trillions, but giving the banking to the whole world. And this is the, one of the missions of uh, OneCoin. The second thing that actually was the one that got me really ticking. Because sometimes, you know, when you hear something, it's something it says, bum. And you get it. And this was easy for me to get because this one I understood. I'm coming from Europe myself from the beginning, but been living for the past 14 years almost in Southeast Asia. And this is something that is very, very familiar to most people in this part of the world. 
Because many people in Thailand, for example, in Malaysia, in Indonesia, in Philippines are working abroad. For, as an example, there are millions of people working that come from Southeast Asia only in Dubai. And these people, they do something every, every single month when they get a paycheck. Guess what? They're sending it home. They're sending it home to the family to help because they don't have the same kind of welfare systems and the family is considered still to be very sacred. So what they do, they get the paycheck, they walk straight into, guess what? Western Union or MoneyGram or something similar and they wire the money home. And guess what, folks? This is extremely, extremely expensive. The average cost is actually 7.7%, but as high as 29% of the money. So guess, we have this uh, girl or, or man that is working abroad that then actually sends home the money, 100 bill as an example, where $29 or euros is left for these companies. And this is something where cryptocurrency is a lot, lot more efficient and cheap. They are actually 80% cheaper. So if you think about this opportunity, already in 2014, according to the World Bank, it was a $583 billion industry. So this is important to understand. And here OneCoin will be one of the absolutely best options for everybody to do it. The third thing that I absolutely didn't understand <laughs> when I heard the first time about digital currency or actually cryptocurrency, because it's a big difference between that one. You will uh, learn that one for sure later on. This, protecting income and wealth. Guess what, guys? If you had, for example, a hundred uh, dollar bill or euro bill, euro didn't exist, of course, but equivalent to it, 30 years back in time, you actually lost most of it. Because if you're looking at the history of, uh, of finances and uh, currencies, in the first 200 years, it was only printed as an example in the United States, 825 billions of money. Guess what? Once the crisis started to hit in the 90s, the crisis started to hit again in 2008, I guess most of you remember that. Look what happened. We have quantum of ease uh, uh, one, quantum of ease two, three and four. And guess what, folks? This is printing money. Why do countries do this? Yes, you uh, figured it probably out already to reduce the uh, amount of loans they have. So let's say the country have borrowed uh, one billion and they print four times. They're basically making the bad debt go away, but at the same time, they're destroying your wealth. So it's not anymore a good option to sit with your money in a bank account. I guess maybe you, some of you guys heard that officially now also in Europe, the interest rate is basically zero. And we are soon going the same way as for example in Japan where you actually might have to pay a minus interest. So old style won't make you wealthy, that's for sure. What cryptocurrencies does is very simple. You are not allowed to print more coins. And this is where it becomes so interesting because it's all about the demand and supply. And you can't just decide that, hey, I want to print more cryptocurrency. No, this is why it is considered to be one of the solutions for actually keeping and maintaining and protecting the wealth of the countries, of the individuals and so on. And there are not only us that are saying this, it is many, many uh, uh, countries around the world that actually don't want to be involved in this anymore. They are scared about the dollar. They are scared about the euro, they are scared about basically all the paper currencies and so on because it absolutely be, be, uh, becomes to no value over time. This market is not worth billions. This market is worth trillions. It's not a question about it. If you put everything together also here, the unbanked, which is one of it, very important, get the banking out to all the people. Secondly of all, uh, remittances, sending and receiving money, and third of all, protecting wealth. I guess this one answers the question, do we need a cryptocurrency? Yeah, at least we need something else, where our cryptocurrency is one of the absolutely best solutions. So who will then be the winners? If you ask me, it's pretty simple. We need to be digital, which cryptocurrency is. We need to be global, which also cryptocurrency has 
the possibility to be, especially one coin that is networked, which is the last one, like for example Facebook. This is why we can grow so fast. I repeat again, 1.5 billion and more in the first really operational year. More than 1.7 million people's members right now in the organization are after only one and a half year approximately on the market and so on. This is amazing if you ask me. So what we want to do is create a reserve currency, a reserve cryptocurrency. Today the reserve uh, currencies are for example US dollar, up to 63% actually of the reserve currencies in the world are held in US dollar and you just saw what happened to the US dollar becomes weaker, weaker, weaker and weaker. The other 22%, the ones that think they are smart, they do it in euro, which also is being great out, flat out, uh, destroyed right now. And world commodities is in US dollar. So if I'm, for example, sitting on a lot of commodities, I wouldn't like it to be in US dollar. Very simple. We have something that we call the seven tests to check if it is even possible to become a world reserve cryptocurrency. These are as follows. One, the coin number. Yeah, as you might understand, if it's trillions worth the market and remittances only is worth 500, 600 billions, it is very important that we have a lot of coins. Why? Yes, because you don't want it to be like Bitcoin, $1,200 per coin. It becomes very unpractical. This is why we believe, and it makes sense if you ask me, that you need a lot of coins. And this is also, it's falling into point two here, because if you don't have this, like for example Bitcoin, you will end up dealing in with 0 0.002 and even maybe, maybe more. And this is also not practical. It doesn't make sense to have a, a value like that. You need to have millions of users. Of course, it's all about the demand and supply. It's more about being also not so volatile, jumping up and down and so on. We need to have millions of merchants. Why? Because you want to be able to use your money. We need to have a global usage, of course, because it's a network world today. It's not like back in the 1800s or something or 1900s. People today interact very fast all over the borders, all over the world and so on. So it needs to be very, very global. And this is very important, ladies and gentlemen, education led. Why? Because like me, I didn't understand anything about it when I heard about it the first time. If you can educate people about it, then you will win. And it, of course, needs to be extremely secure. Not saying that the paper money is secured, because it can be actually very, very easily counterfeited. This is why if you ask us, if you ask me, Bitcoin fails. Bitcoin has done amazing things. They made uh, cryptocurrency very famous. And it's still a very good option. I don't want to rack down too much about Bitcoin because it's still a better option than any paper money, if you ask me. But they have too few coins. Only 21 million and they will probably never even reach it because it's a pretty old algorithm. How it's extracted, mine the coin. They also have a too big, uh, too high world value, the coin value, if you ask me up to $2,200 and still today plus 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 $300 and so on also a fail, it's too high. Need to have millions of users. Bitcoin actually don't have a lot of really active users. You need to have millions if you ask me. You need to have millions of merchants. This is Bitcoin's problem because they are going a little bit a different way than one coin it wants to do. They're actually, you know, they're trading it in actually several trading uh, centers around the world. They're trying to do some kind of own ATMs and stuff, but this is a very heavy way of doing it, if you ask me. They don't really have a global usage. So this is also a fail and no education whatsoever. One thing they have, it's secure, it's strong. That is why I still recommend it, at least as something where you would put your money instead of keeping it on your bank account. So how do you then create the first world's cryptocurrency on the market? If it's possible, how would you do it? The interesting thing with OneCoin is that you don't actually have a dream or a vision or a goal or something like this. Yes, of course, we have kind of a goal. We want to be the biggest cryptocurrency and we want to do it. But we have a strategy. 
And this is for me something that is extremely important because in normal cases when you hear people talking about yeah, we have a vision, we have a goal, you know, it's kind of fuzzy, don't you think? Many times it's kind of fuzzy, it's not concrete. And I like concrete things, I like mathematical things, and therefore I like the strategy that the owner of the company and the founder, Dr. Rusha Ignatova, have done. And this is, of course, extremely important. She has all the knowledge needed. I don't want to go on and rant on and on about, you know, how good uh, she's been doing this or what education she had. She had more than enough, trust me. She was one of the absolutely final reasons for us stepping into the company. Without Dr. Rusha, we wouldn't be here. It's just as it is. Because you need somebody that absolutely knows what they're doing. And she does that. And the results prove themselves for that also. So like I said, Dr. Rusha don't have a vision or a goal. She has a strategy. And she bases it on something that we call TED. T-E-D. Technology, education, and distribution. This is how we're going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. We are not having some fussy dreams. We know what we're doing. We have a strategy for rolling it out. And this is the absolute foremost reason why OneCoin is so successful. We are also basing it on our eight keys, why we are so successful. We have a centralized mining, and this is something very important for you to understand. Because in Bitcoin, you need to mine the coin yourself. You need to have a good computer. You need to have good software. You need to have the mind for it, and of course, you need to have the knowledge how to do it. Nobody's going to teach you this one. We have a centralized mining, which means that the company is taking care of everything for you. You only need to learn how to profit from it the most. And we will teach you all of this. You need no knowledge from before. You will be taught everything you need to know. We have extremely good trust in that this one is not a hype or a scam or anything like this. This is extremely important for you to understand. We are actually audited. So when people come to you and say, that, yeah, I don't think they are mining. Yeah, I don't think they are doing that. Hey, guys. We are actually being audited by a third party company on a monthly basis. So this is nothing even to think about. Of course we are mining. Of course it is like we say it is. There's no reason for it to hype that one at all. It is so safe for you to trust this. Company manages, as I said, the mining platform and the exchange. So the opportunity that the company is providing is actually crypto finance banking. All of the things that I was talking about before. Have a wealth that you save in the right kind of way, being able to bank all around the globe and also send and receive funds. And the company is solely promoting the coin. The company doesn't do the networking or anything like this. They solely do what they should do, mine the coin, focus on the wealth creation of the coin. What we do, the network then comes later because we have no normal marketing costs, we have commission only. And this becomes mathematically very interesting when you look at the business model because the company knows that if one euro comes in, they know that about 50 cents of this one is left for the company to take care of what they should take care of, the rest is paid out in commissions. We have an education first through our one academy, so we are not selling coins. We are selling education and teaching the market how to benefit the most from cryptocurrency. So the step one where we are right now is the mining opportunity. This company is new. It was rolled out. Like I said, the mining actually started only just a little bit more than one year ago. So we're really in the beginning, but still we are breaking all the records that are out there on the market. So we have, as I said before, we have the best distribution concept. The only thing we do is we find miners, which are people, like you and me, that wants to create some value through being involved in mining the coin for the company. And we have merchants globally that we also get through the network marketing. If you take a look at this, this is something that is extremely important. If you ask me, I could actually go on and speak for hours about only this page. I will do it pretty briefly now, pretty quickly, to get you to understand that we are really, really in the beginning. As you see here, it reads 25%. We are actually more of 27 right now. If you draw a vertical line on this graph and look here, you get like a small piece of cake here, which the 27% is. 
The company, as I said, has turned over, yeah, in 2015, more than one and a half billion euros. So probably right now I don't have the exact numbers, but let's say the company turned, turned over two and a half billions. Just to assume something. The coin of today is worth what? It's 560 approximately. Before we hit the market for public use, because now your most important thing to focus on is to mine as many coins as possible to better gather with us. This is your only focus now. For the next two years, until we are rolling out in April 2018 to the market, our focus is the private mining. If you then draw this uh, vertical line here, and you have this uh, cake piece or whatever you want to call it, and here is lying under, this lies the value of two and a half billions. Yes, a lot of people made money through the network marketing. Yes, the company made a lot of money. But if you continue here, if you're going to go to 80%, what is realistically then, if 27% is this and it increases all the way up, goes up, goes up, goes up, the value will be somewhere around 100 euro maybe when we are out on the market, 50 to 100 euro. This is an assumption, of course, it can be up, it can be down, but an assumption mathematically. Why? Because I know it's 560 right now with two and a half billion. So what will it be then with 100 billion that will be turned over before we go out on the pu for public use? You do the math. This is why it is so important for you to understand, because many people come to me and ask, yeah, but when is it going out on the public exchange and blah. Guys, it is now when you actually can do the biggest, biggest benefit, because it's not out on the public use. It is mathematically calculated with mining rate. This is something you will hear, hear a lot about on one coin, the mining rate. That means that today, mathematically, the value of the coin is 560. It will be mathematically, yes, approximately how much? You count yourself, two and a half billions to 100. And you know where it's going to be approximately when it hits the market. Okay? So it's now when you should take action. You have a two-year window where you basically, as long as we grow, as we grow right now, and even slower, you will be able to create what? Wealth. Very simply. It is only about mathematics. So our philosophy right now is mine don't sell. Of course you can sell if you want, but I wouldn't. Why would I sell for 560 if I can sell for 50? No reason if I don't really, really, really need the money. But for me, I haven't sold one coin even. Why? Because I'm living on the commissions that are generated from finding more miners. Pretty simple. We pass the seven tests that Bitcoin miserably fails, if you ask me. We have 2.1 billion potential coins. Right now we mined approximately, if I remember correctly, 590 million maybe coins something like this, it goes up with a potential 1.4 million, 40,000 coins per day, if everything goes correctly with the mining and so on. We actually mine 10,000 coins every 10 minutes. So this is interesting. This is something that I also could speak hours about, why the concept is so beautiful mathematically, because it's only about demand and supply. And Dr. Rusha Ignatova was so smart when she rolled out the concept that she actually created a system where the demand is so, so, so much higher right now than the supply. Our queue is becoming longer and longer for the mining and therefore also what? Yes, the difficulty rate goes up and the coin value goes up. We have a developing world coin, uh, world coin value. We are in 254 or something countries right now. Not in one or two or three, in almost every country around the globe. We have mass millions of users. Our goal is to have at least 10 million users when we roll out on the market. We are already reaching, we are closing in on 2 million. We have 1,750,000 passed already and it's growing fast. We actually have uh, more than 5,000 people in an average uh, that joins the company on a daily basis. That actually buys a package actually, not only joins. We have millions of merchants. Why? Yeah, because we're actually using it through our OnePay, our card, our MasterCard which means that you can use it basically everywhere. We also have a global usage, as I said, plus 200 countries, all the regions, and we are education-led. And this is the most important thing, if you ask me, education. 
Because if you think about it, where do you think, for example, I get all my information? I don't look for it in uh, Google. No, I learn it from the one academy. So when you learn, your confidence grows and you know we're going to make it because of the strategy that is behind. And we are also exactly like Bitcoin secure. On top of that, we are centralized and we also ask for a KYC, know your customer. And this is something that Bitcoin doesn't do. We believe in doing it because we don't want, let's call it black money or bad money in the business. So we ask for the people to actually identify themselves in order to be able to sell coins and withdraw to bank accounts and things like this. This is very important if you ask me. When I started working with one coin, one coin was valued at about 60 euro cents. Today, 11 months later, it is at 560. So yeah, not bad if you ask me, but where will it go? I don't have a crystal ball, but it looks pretty good. It is normal in every market that evolution happens. And this is, of course, something that has also been happening for us. With all the businesses out there. If you started with, uh, with internet somewhere back in the day, you remember maybe Netscape. I remember it. I'm pretty old already, so I remember it. It was basically destroyed by Google. I was pretty amazed actually here uh, the other day when I uh, bought a new computer for myself and it started popping up Yahoo, I thought it was gone already, but it's actually there still, but it's pretty small. Uh, MySpace was the one that was growing fast in the beginning, Facebook ate them alive, basically destroyed them once they rolled it out. Bitcoin, very successful still today, but we are passing them fast, very fast. So if you ask me, yes, one coin will beat Bitcoin and pretty, pretty easily. Because we do it through our one academy. Education on top of all the other amazing things, we actually teach you things. Through our one academy, you will be able to learn what is cryptocurrency. All the things about it. The powerful benefits of it, because there are a lot on top of what I've just been speaking about. You will also learn how to trade cryptocurrency, which is very important for you. How can you buy it? How can you sell it? You know, and all of these things. And you will also learn a lot about the future of the cryptocurrency. And on top of these packages then, because this is very amazing if you ask me, you can actually join as cheap if you ask me. Or as affordable if you ask me. As 100 euros. This will actually go up to 110 euros with 10% now the 1st of April. So you better hurry up. So after this, 10% uh, will be an increase on the prices. But for now, these are the prices. You get more and more education, the bigger package that you have. But on top of this, you will get something that are called tokens. Because as we are not mining ourselves on the computers and so on, there be, needs to be a way how do you participate in the mining process? Who is allowed to participate with what? And this is very smartly done. You need education in order to be able to reap the most benefits. So you will get a lot of free tokens in the packages. As you can see, start as 1,000 tokens, whereof the Infinity Miner, in Infinity Trader uh, package will have 300,000 tokens. If you ask me, it is pretty simple actually. You have to have as much education as possible if you want to succeed. And also, you need the best benefits. Because on top of only, because I haven't been speaking anything about the opportunity now of networking, only about the product in itself. With all of these levels that you have, the real huge benefit and leverages are starting from actually the tycoon and the premium and up. You will learn why it has to do with splits and things like this. And it's amazing what kind of benefits you actually can come. Because this is a simple, simple concept of how you make money. Simplified a lot. You will learn, learn more through the one uh, academy, as I said. It starts with you are purchasing an educational pack. It goes into, will, you will get on top of it, so to say, tokens. Okay? So let's say that you enrolled as a tycoon member, 5,000 euro. You got 60,000 uh, tokens for free in your package. 
Now something very important happens. And that actually happens now in a few days. There is a barometer in the back office that shows when a split is going to happen. So what is a split? It is a very simple way of actually you being able to double your tokens. So if you don't mind, you wait for a split, you will actually be able to double your tokens. So if you had 60,000, they will get what? 60,000 more, so you will have a total of not 60,000, but 120,000 tokens. Actually, the small packages, it stops here. You only get one split. But with the big packages as Tycoon and above, you are able actually to get more splits. So if you want to wait again, few weeks, 8 to 12 weeks, somewhere approximately, between every 8 and 10, uh, 12 weeks, there is a split coming up, usually. You will be able to get one more split. That means that your 120,000 token will become what? Yes, correct. 240,000 tokens. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start going to the mining. You might have also chosen to go straight. You got your tokens and you can go straight into the mining. But the strategy I explained to you is the most beneficial strategy for you. Because you will ma make more money faster. This will then go into the mining pool. There is a queue, like I said. Right now, it's probably around three months before you get your coin when you go into the queue. But OneCoin is not a fast-in, fast-out uh, hype. It is not a scam. It is a long-term profitability uh, system that you are getting involved in. So don't you worry. Wait for the splits. Go into the mining and get generated coins. And this is pretty simple if you ask me. If you are looking at, I said before, that it has something to do with something like difficulty rate. Right now it's on 57, which means that one token is approximately what? Yes, 10 euro cents. That means that the uh, value today of the coin would be approximately 570, okay? 560, 570, depending on how much the people ask for it in the trading platform. Okay, this is going up, like I said. So yeah, of course, when you're waiting for the splits and so on, the difficulty rate will climb. But mathematically, if you start looking, it will not go from 57 to 140, no. It maybe goes from 57 to... 65, 70 or something like this. So if you wait enough, you will, yes, of course, you will make a lot of more money by waiting. It's fair. This is a huge financial uh, opportunity. In the first real business year, like I said, we have created more than 300 millionaires. We earn commission for referring minors. This is people buying educational packages and we are getting paid a commission, a referral commission on this. You can also choose to only mine, like I said, or you can choose to refer miners, but you can also build a team like me. This is where the biggest, absolutely biggest money is involved, because if you build a team, there are basically no limits to what you can make. Yes, there are limits with package, uh, per package and so on, but the real financial limit there is none. Actually, the biggest turner in the company started as me, as you, with zero in the business and so on, and is today actually making more than $4 million a month after only one and a half year in the business. We only have, I say, 1.7 million members. We are going to at least 10 million easily within the next two years. The only question is, where will you be? We have no absolutely no monthly qualifications. You buy your pack, that's it. No reoccurring orders, up to you what you want to do. Other companies mostly have it. We don't need it. We grow anyway. We have more than 300 people in the company that actually makes more than 35,000 euros per week, not per month. 35,000 euros per week. This is pretty amazing if you ask me, but this is not the most amazing thing. The most amazing thing is that we have almost 30,000 people actually making 10,000 euros or more a month. This is the most amazing thing if you ask me, because it's not about the top, it's about the many people can make money. And yeah, never seen anything like that. And this is all because the amazing support, the education and so on, in one dream team, our job is make you successful. If you are prepared to put in the time and the effort, we will help you become successful. I'm very proud of myself to be involved in the one dream team. It is the absolutely best team ever to be involved in. 
positive people with a lot of experience. And actually every day I hear about stories for people that actually saw one coin out there in the internet and decided to go and look for the best team where they wanted to be involved. I'm very proud to say that I'm, a, I'm one of the founders in One Dream Team and we are welcoming you together with us. Wherever you are in the world, I'm sure we can help you. Our organization is already huge, but we have not stopped. No, opposite. We are aiming absolutely to the top and we are prepared to help you. See you on the top. Get back to the person that invited you to look at this video. And I'm sure they are of the same opinion as me. Get on board. The time is now. Bye.